My name is Eva Marils and I'm the Dean of Engineering at the University of Melbourne. So the new biology, or if you can also call it the convergence of ICT and biology, or the quantitative expression of biology, is, uh, is, a, is a global trend. Everywhere in the world, people are really concentrated. And it's for the first time in history that engineers can really engage with biology, because biology is for the first time really understood at a quantitative level. And in the end, engineers are quantitative people. They want to model and then predict. They want to build things with the physical environment typically, but I believe we now are the first time in the ability to actually build also with the biological environment and integrate biology into our structures. And that's a really exciting thing. One particular aspect of that that I'm very interested in personally is what we call systems biology. It's the understanding of life from a systems engineering point of view. Understanding how little elements even at say the cellular level can work together to form an organ and how organs then together form a life form and how that actually works and understanding how that organization works from an engineering point of view is extremely exciting and will teach us an awful lot in engineering and reverse engineering will actually be able to help biology to understand it because in the end systems engineers just do that they build large and complex systems and ICT in particular is one area where engineers have built forms, structures that rival in terms of complexity that of biological life forms. So I think it's a very exciting area to be there in systems biology, bringing engineers and biology together at the level of understanding an entire life form. Another place of convergence between ICT and uh, biology is what we're doing in the Center for Neural Engineering. The nose, or a biological device, biological life form, can do that very well. So what we want to do is to learn from the biology how they actually detect their chemical environment and then use our electronics to enhance, say, make an electronic nose, if you like, enhance our electronics with the biological component that then can detect the particular chemicals in the, in the environment. And that way we can then miniaturize the sensor and make them last very long in the, in the field and we can start measuring quality of water as if, say, a shark would do it or your nose would do it or something like that. And that's the type of thing that we're very excited about to be able to do because it brings it together, the, the complete description of water if like brings you the quality of water as well as the quantity of water and then you really can start managing uh, that, that quantity, that, the water basically. So that's some of the things we try to do there. Melbourne is an ideal place for having the ICT biomedical convergence happening. It's first a very livable city. It's a fantastic city to live in, not too large, not too small, reasonably easily accessible. And above all, I think Melbourne has a spirit of collaboration. It's much more than any other places I've been that uh, in Melbourne, if you want to do things together between the universities, between government and industry, university and industry, all of those things, somehow there is a willingness to be willing to collaborate. On top of that, you have two concentrations, really critical mass concentrations, one in engineering, um, Melbourne University is number 25 in the world, it's one of the top universities for engineering and technology, has a really great critical mass in ICT. On top, next to that, you have then the biomedical research, also critical mass, it's probably number four in the world as far as concentration, it's going to have probably 10,000 researchers here in about a 10 kilometer radius around the Carlton. Um, absolutely magnificent medical, hospitals, clinical research, and engineers all in very close proximity and all are willing to collaborate. Fantastic environment to be able to do this type of research.